Now let's talk about getting dimensions into the design table. When you already have your design table made, um, there's multiple ways. Uh, for one, remember uh, pink ones, uh, pink dimensions are ones that we already have in our design table. I can double click on it. Oops. And of course you get the warning. And of course your modify box can open up. Right now, if you click right here, it is on this configuration only. So we are in uh, the original. So if I were to change this dimension, it would automatically update just for that configuration alone. Or I can always select all configurations or specify configuration. Um, so that's one way. Now, uh, let's select a dimension that isn't in our design table. This one's not in our design table. So right now, automatically it is for all configurations. It just means that it's not in the design table. But if I were to change this for this configuration or specify configuration and select more than one but not all of them, um, that would automatically update the design table and add that uh, dimension to it. So uh, with that, there's an another way. Okay, we're in um, your dimension. Let's say I wanted to add this one or multiple dimensions. I could select on it, right click, configure dimension. This will open up this uh, box. Now, currently, right now, it is uh, the same for all configurations because that's what it, what it is. Uh, remember, we clicked on it, but we never added it into the design table. But here, we can actually add it in the design table. Let's say we wanted to, um, you know, click more. Sketch three. How about uh, through hole? Or yeah, let's see. That doesn't work. But if it was a, because that's the through hole. That's actually a feature. If there is other dimensions I have not selected yet, I can continue to select them, and they will pop up here. Uh, I can also create a new configuration. Let's say, you know, I want. Hey, wait. Let me let me add a new configuration for this, and then, um, you know, I can just type in here, add the new configuration name, type the name in, and then add a value. Uh, but let's say right now, through hole, the original short. <clears throat> Let's change this to 15. Now, when I actually select OK, <clears throat> let me hit Control S, rebuild and save document. If I were to go to my configurations, let me open the design table, edit table. Now, wait a second for this to open up. Oh, it's also going to pop up um, with other things that, uh, if you know, parameters that, that's one of those um, things that we selected originally, whatever. So, any times a change or um, something's new or um, it hasn't been selected yet, this will pop up, allows you to select if you want. Find anything else new, just select OK. And look, uh, we added that extra dimension in there. One other thing is, yeah, if we had more dimension on here, I'm running out of dimensions. We could um, just type in, if you know exactly what the name of your dimension is, type in your dimension here. You know, it'd be like whole location along center at sketch two. You type that in here and that will add, physically add the uh, dimension to the feature. So that's how you this. You can actually click this little box when it's available. Sometimes it's not available. I always hit Control S also. But that's how you add extra dimensions that you haven't uh, already had there.